in this video I'm going to auto wire the user controller class into my user controller test class and I'm going to create mock objects for the get user method. So the method under the test is inside of user controller method and it's called get user. I'm going to test the business logic which is inside of this method but this method is using user service object which is being auto wired here. So for me to be able to test this method and the business logic which is inside of this method I will need to mock user service object and then configure the method behavior for this get user by user ID method. So let me mock the user service first. If I run my unit test, the user service object will be now and my test will fail. So I'll go to user controller test and here I'll use my key this mock object. Let me import it. I will mock the user service implementation class and I'll call it user service. Let me import user service implementation. And now I will also create the user controller, but I will annotate it with a slightly different annotation, which is called inject mocks. So what this annotation will do, it will instantiate the user controller and then it will inject mocks like user service into the user controller so that when our unit test is run and we call the method on user controller, which is called get user, the user service implementation class is injected into this user controller. Okay, so let's import inject mocks annotation and I will import user controller and let me format my code. Okay, now the framework will instantiate the user controller object for us and it will inject the user service mock object into it. But the mock object at this moment is now. It has not been initialized yet. So we will need to use Makita annotations to init mock and send this method a parameter, which is this. Now, if we test this class, the user controller will be auto wired and the mock objects like user service implementation will be injected into our user controller and will be made available inside of the get user method. Okay, so now let's configure a method behavior for our user service mock object. It calls the get user by user ID. And because this is not an integration test, this is unit test, we will need to configure the behavior of this method and let it return the user data transfer object with a sample information. So I'll go back to my user controller test and inside of the test get user method, I'll delete this call to a fail function and I will use my key test when then return to configure a method behavior on the user service object. So let me try to import the when first, add static import from Makita when and now I will take the user service and I'll say when user service object is used to call a method get user by user ID and get user by user ID can take an argument and I will use Makita's any string to match any argument and configure this method to work with any string. The actual user ID does not really matter at this moment because user service is a mock object and whatever value is given to it, we will return here a new user data transfer object. I'll put null for now. So uh, any string will need to be imported. It doesn't see it. So let me go to user service implementation and let me copy entire import Makita argument matchers and I'll paste it here like this. Okay, now it's better. So when get user by user ID is called on user service, taking in any argument, any string, we need to return a user data transfer object. Now let's create this user data transfer object. Let me import user data transfer object and I will configure inside of the setup method. The setup method will be called before each unit test. So before the test get user method is called, setup will be called and our user data transfer object will be created. 
The user data transfer object has many class fields. So if I open its implementation, it has ID, user ID, first name, last name, email, and so on. So let me initialize some of them and paste it into this class. Okay, so these are the fields that the user DTO object can contain when the get user by user ID method is called on the user service object. And there are a couple of values that I will need to set. The first user ID, I decided to take it outside of this method, just in case I need to use it in other test methods. So I will create here um, a final string user ID like this, and I'll give it a sample value. The user ID here does not actually need to be a real value. So I will give it an alphanumeric sample value string. And then I also took the uh, list of addresses into a separate method so that the get addresses DTO will return as a list of addresses. And we do already have this method inside of our user service implementation test. So I will um, copy it here. It's a private function and I will paste it here. Okay, like this. So our uh, mock object is uh, done. So I'll copy this and I will paste it into then return so that when the get user by user id method is called on user service taking it any parameter doesn't matter which value of user id is provided it will return this stopped object to us so uh, let's continue and actually make a call to the get user method and then make some assertions and see if our unit test is passing